When I met you in the summer To my heartbeat sound We fell Now this is my fight song Take back my life song Prove I'm all right song Hey guys! I'm Brooke and for my first video I wanted to do a summer room organization and DIY room decor video for you. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment down below. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey guys, so the first thing I wanted to show you how to make today is a super easy drawer organizer. So all you're going to need for this project is different sizes of the boxes, an exacto knife or scissors, paint, and hot glue. So first you just want to cut the tops off of all of your boxes. Once all of your boxes are topless, you want to make sure that you have a good range of different sizes of boxes. I used some shoe boxes, my box for my camera, and even some small gift boxes because they worked well in having different sizes. So now I'm just laying my boxes out in any way that I think looks good. I like to have the gift boxes in the center because you can see them better and since they're smaller you need to be able to see them better because they'll hold smaller items. Okay, so now that I have laid out all my boxes, I realized they looked kind of drab and boring, so I decided to paint all of them. I used pink, lime green, and sky blue, and you're just going to want to paint all over it. You could either paint a design or print out a picture and glue it to it, whatever you want. And my camera didn't record me um, gluing them together, so all you're going to do is just apply hot glue to the sides of the boxes and the layout you want and just hold them together till it's dry. So for this next project, all you're going to need is some cute paper some paint, I use Crayola paint, some scissors or an X-Acto knife, and some tape. I just use Scotch tape. And then I also used my printer and my computer to print out pictures. Okay, so I just printed out four different pictures that reminded me of summer. I have an anchor, a surfboard, a palm tree, and a pineapple. And then I just printed all of them out. Make sure that while you're cutting them, you want to be careful that you don't damage the surrounding paper because you won't be using the actual image, only the surrounding paper around the image. So be careful not to damage that. And this may be easier with an X-Acto knife, but if you use an X-Acto knife, make sure that you have a hard surface that won't get scratched when you use it. Okay, so now I'm just taping the top of that paper together so it won't come apart, and then I'm laying it on my cute paper. I just like it diagonally, so then I taped it down so it won't move when I paint it, and I'm just using pink paint and painting my anchor pink, being careful not to go under the paper because the edges will not be as straight, and this is what it looks like when it's all painted with the paper still on, and then I just simply took the surrounding paper off and it comes out to this adorable anchor. Eyes in the sky. So I just put these up in my wall in this cute diamond shape and I think it looks super adorable. And I really like the palm tree and the pineapple. Those are my favorites. Baby, let the light shine through. If you believe it's true, baby, won't you let the light Okay, so if you're like me, you always have a ton of hats that you need to store and you can never find how to store them. So this is a super easy way to store hats and it's really cute. So all you're going to do is just put a push pin into a wall wherever you want it and literally just put your hat on it like this and 
it stays and it's cute. And I did it in this little pattern with my hat, so which makes it even cuter and it's just great. So next is this DIY chalkboard calendar where I got this chalkboard from a thrift store for like $5 and then I just simply put washi tape on it and the design of the calendar and wrote in the days with chalk and the month on top and it's super cute. So this is literally so simple. I just put a bunch of pens in a mason jar and it looks really cute because it adds a great big pop of color to your room and it's really easy to store because you know you always have those pens and pencils that you never know where to put because it's not in your super organized pen container. So I just put them in here and they can stick out and look all bulgy and stuff and it's still really cute because it's a great big pop of color. I even have scissors in here because this is an extra big mason jar and yeah. So for this, literally all I did was put down a piece of wrapping paper on my desk that looks like a good size, and it's super interchangeable for the different seasons. You can have Christmas paper for Christmas time, happy birthday paper for whenever your birthday is, and it's super cute, and it adds a nice pop of color to your room. Okay, so for this nice, cute summer wall art, all I did was go online and find out pictures that reminded me of summer and just printed them out on my color printer. And you can either print them out on a color printer or print, send them to Walgreens or Walmart. And if you print them out on a printer, make sure that you use photo paper so they're nice and glossy. And then I just mounted them on paper and put them in these frames that my family already had. And it's super cute and super summery. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure once again that if you like this video, you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And leave it in the comments below if you liked any of these ideas or if you have any requests of videos for me to make. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.